in the last video we have seen some of uh, the basic concepts which are required in order to find the capacitance of uh, electric power transmission lines now we need to extend these basics and find the capacitance of the transmission lines in this class so in the last class we have understood that the potential difference between the two points any two points due to a charged conductor is given by this expression which is v12 1 and 2 are the two points or p1 and p2 are the two points where p1 is located at a distance of d1 from the center and p2 is located at a distance of d2 from the center so the potential difference between 1 and 2 is given by q which is the charge on this conductor for 1 meter length because q is nothing but the charge per unit length we considered so the charge per unit length divided with 2 pi epsilon which is a constant value uh, in multiplied with natural logarithm and uh, inside this natural logarithm we have two distances in the numerator we have a distance of uh, the point from uh, the conductor means uh, you have a distance from the conductor to the point p2 in the numerator and you have a distance from the conductor to the point p1 in the denominator we have understood uh, how to write uh, this expression or uh, this equation uh, in general when you know two different distances and uh, when i want to find the potential difference between these two okay so we have covered up to this in the last video or last class now we will understand how to find the capacitance of uh, single phase two wire line using this uh, um, concept of potential difference so the topic for today's discussion is capacitance of single phase two wire line so here i consider two conductors two charged conductors a and b and the charge on the conductor a is assumed as q a and the charge on the conductor b is assumed as q b and d uh, capital d is the distance between uh, a and b i have assumed where r is nothing but the radius of uh, the conductor so usually in a transmission line uh, all the conductors will be of same radius so i considered the same radius for both the conductors now what i am interested is to find the capacitance in between these two lines okay how can i find the capacitance in between these two lines see here before uh, finding the capacitance first we need to know see cab is nothing but the capacitance between a and b how can i find this capacitance so from the definition of capacitance uh, we can find this capacitance by taking the ratio of either qa or qb divided with the voltage uh, or the potential difference between a and b now what is vab vab is nothing but potential difference between a and b potential uh, difference between the positions a and b or the conductors a and b whatever it may be right so if we express the potential difference between a and b in terms of uh, qa automatically you can find the capacitance between them now how can i find vab here the potential difference between a and b is due to two charges what are the two charges qa and qe Okay, let me write here as there are as there are two charged conductors in the space as there are two charged conductors in the space so the potential difference between a and b the potential difference between a and b due to a we need to find separately and the potential difference between a and b due to the charge uh, qb we need to find separately to get the total potential difference okay so the potential difference between a and b is the summation of the potential difference between a and b due to qa and the potential difference between a and b due to qb okay so this is nothing but vab due to qa and 
this is nothing but VAB due to QB, right? So, in order to find the total potential difference, you need to add these two. Now, how can I find VAB due to QA? I am giving a name for this, which is VAB suffix A. It is given by, as we are finding the potential difference between uh, A and B due to QA, so you will get QA divided with 2 pi epsilon. So uh, please recall the equation which we derived in the last class. So Q by 2 pi epsilon ln of D2 by D1. So when it is V12, when it is V12, you will get D2 distance in the numerator and D1 distance in the denominator. When it is VAB, you will get the distance from the conductor A to the point B in the numerator and you will get the distance from conductor A to the point A in the denominator. So it is ln of, what is the distance from uh, A to B? The distance from A to B is given as D here already. So this is D and the distance from A to A. What is the distance from A to A? It is actually R, right? The distance from A to A is considered as R. Now this is VAB of A. Similarly, how can you find VAB of B? What is meant by VAB of B? It is the potential difference between A and B due to the charge QB. It is the potential difference between A and B due to the charge QA. First one is completed. How can I find the second one? Second one is QB by 2 pi epsilon because it is due to the charge B into ln of. So in the numerator, you must get the distance up to B. Now what is the conductor? B. So the numerator distance is nothing but B to B distance. What is B to B distance? R. Similarly, in the denominator, you need to get the distance from B to A. Okay. Conductor is B here. Now, previously the conductor is A. So from the conductor A to B is D. So we got it in the numerator D. And from conductor A to A, so the distance is R. So we got R in the denominator. Here now in the second equation, the charge is changed, which is QB. Now the distance from uh, the charge conductor B to the point B is R. And the distance from the charge conductor B to the point A is D. Now, how can I get the total potential difference by adding these two? Okay, so this is uh, how we got this. It is uh, uh, because of the principle of superposition. As we have understood in our electrostatics, according to the principle of superposition, okay, according to the principle of superposition, the potential difference between the two points is the uh, summation of uh, the potential difference between uh, the two points due to the two charges. Okay. Now, let us add these two to get uh, VAB. Now, VAB is equal to first term is QA by 2 pi epsilon into ln of uh, D by R. What is the second term? Second term is uh, QB by uh, 2 pi epsilon is same into ln of you will get R over D volts. Right? Now, uh, as uh, some of the things are common, which is 1 by 2 pi epsilon, so I can take 1 by 2 pi epsilon as common. So, QA into ln of d by r plus qb into ln of r by d right so this is in volts so this is vab now how can i find uh, uh, means how can i simplify it further so for single phase two wire line the sum of the two charges is uh, equal to zero means the sum of the two charges because uh, one a charged conductor is carrying the forward current and another charged conductor is carrying the return current. So the sum of the two charges uh, uh, is equal to zero. From this, uh, uh, I can write QB as equal to minus QA. 
okay now how can i get vab vab is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon given with uh, qa into ln of uh, d by r in place of qba i can substitute minus qa so minus qa into ln of r by d volts right now uh, if i if i want to get the positive sign here what i need to do i need to interchange the numerator and denominator inside the natural logarithm now vab is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon multiplied with qa into ln of uh, d by r what is the second term second term is also qa into ln of d by r holds right now as these two terms are same you can multiply with 2 hence you will get uh, 1 by 2 pi epsilon into 2 times qa into ln of d by r volts the o um, the potential difference between a and b due to both the charged conductors so now uh, cancelling these two and two you will get uh, cab just now we have seen cab can be found by taking the ratio of qa with respect to vab now by sending vab to denominator uh, you will get pi epsilon in the numerator divided with uh, so this natural logarithm will go to the denominator so you will get ln of d by r farad per meter okay so because as the q is nothing but the charged per unit length the capacitance which we have determined is also the capacitance per unit length now from the uh, capacitance of uh, or from the capacitance between the two wires how can i find the capacitance of a single wire okay capacitance of a single wire or capacitance per phase or capacitance uh, between uh, line and neutral capacitance between line and neutral how can i get this if i know the capacitance between uh, a and b for example uh, these two are the lines or these two are the wires a and b and you have a capacitance between these two lines and this capacitance is cab a b are the conductors now let me write here if uh, these two conductors or if these two lines are uh, supplied by uh, a grounded center tapped transformer grounded center tapped transformer if I am supplying these two lines A and B by uh, a grounded center tapped transformer see how a grounded center tapped transformer if this is the primary of a transformer I am assuming and if this is the secondary of a transformer now uh, the center tap of this transformer is grounded and these two lines are supplied by a grounded center tap transformer so this is one wire and this is another wire so now this is A and this is B now how can I find the capacitance between this is neutral or ground now how can I find the capacitance between uh, the line and neutral capacitance between line and neutral or capacitance of a single wire both are same if I assume the capacitance between uh, A and uh, the neutral as uh, CAN and the capacitance between uh, B and N as uh, CBN right this is ground let me uh, erase this ground here okay this is the uh, center tap of this uh, transformer this is the center tap of this transformer which is grounded now the capacitance between the wire and neutral or ground is uh, CBN and the capacitance between the wire A and uh, the ground is uh, CAN now what is this capacitance so the capacitance between 
ए एंड बी इज सी ए बी नाउ वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज थ्री इफ यू ऑब्जर्व सी ए बी एंड सी ए एन एंड सी बी एन सी ए एन एंड सी बी एन आर लुकिंग लाइक दे आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज ओके सो सी ए एन एंड सी बी एन आर सीमिंग लाइक दे आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज दे आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज ना हाउ कैन आई फाइंड सी ए बी विच इज द इक्विवेलेंट कैपेसिटेंस फ्रॉम सी ए एन एंड सी बी एन सो सी ए बी इज इक्वल टू एज दीज आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस इज सी ए एन इंटू सी बी एन डिवाइडेड बाई सी ए एन प्लस सी बी एन नाउ इफ इफ सी ए एन एंड सी बी एन बोथ आर इक्वल इन जनरल वाई बिकॉज दीज टू वाइड्स आर ऑफ सेम साइज एंड दीज टू वाइड्स आर एट द सेम डिस्टेंस फ्राम द न्यूट्रल एंड द चार्ज ऑन बोथ द वाइड्स इज द सेम दो दे आर ऑफ ऑपोजिट पोलैरिटी बट दे आर ऑफ इक्वल मैग्नीट्यूड राइट सो द कैपेसिटी सी ए एन एंड सी बी एन आर सेम एंड आई एम अज्यूमिंग इट एज सी एन नाउ हाउ दिस इक्वेशन इज कन्वर्टेड नाउ सी ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी एन इंटू सी एन बाय सी एन प्लस सी एन इज सी एन सो सी एन सी एन कैंसल सी एन बाई टू इज नथिंग बट सी ए बी नाउ वॉट इज अ सी एन इट इज टू टाइम्स सी ए बी वॉट इज सी ए बी वी हैव फाउंड प्रीवियसली बाई यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वी फाउंड दिस एज अ पाई एप्सिलॉन बाई एल एन ऑफ डी बाई आर फैरड पर मीटर सो नाउ इट इज अ टू इन टू पाई एप्सिलॉन डिवाइडेड बाई एल एन ऑफ डी बाई आर फैरड पर मीटर पर कंडक्टर और पर फेस right so this is the capacitance of uh, uh, a single wire or the capacitance between line and neutral so it is given by cn as 2 pi epsilon divided with ln of d by r farad per meter per phase or per conductor whatever it may be now what is d actually d is nothing but the distance uh, center to center distance from the conductor uh, between the conductors and r is nothing but the radius of each conductor and uh, epsilon is nothing but absolute permittivity uh, it is found by uh, using the formula epsilon not into epsilon r right uh, for an air medium we can take epsilon is equal to epsilon not where epsilon r is equal to 1 for air medium right so this is about uh, the capacitance of a single phase two wire line so with this uh, i want to end this uh, class so in the next class we will understand how to find the capacitance of uh, uh, three phase lines whether they are connected in a symmetrical fashion or unsymmetrical fashion okay so thank you very much